Good morning everyone, so it's about 6 o'clock, uh, I just got to the station, um, so I'm going to go clock in and then I'll let you know how my day is going to go from there. Okay, so this is our garage, this is where we keep ambulances and the other vehicles. So this is the lounge, um, this is where we clock in. We have a full kitchen table, area with couches, and a TV. And we also have bathrooms with showers. So now that we're clocked in, um, we can get to the first tour of the day, which is a uh, rib check. So we can go do that uh, right now. So the four bags that I checked, uh, the blue bag is our like first in bag that has all our basic supplies uh, that we take in when we go to see the patient. Uh, the oxygen bag is the orange bag that has an oxygen tank and uh, airways to help stabilize the patient's airway if they can't breathe on their own. Uh, then we have the gray bag, which is the suction bag, um, and the AED, which was the black bag. Compartments inside the truck just basically have extra supplies of what we have in the blue and orange bags of the truck. So in addition to checking all the gear in the ambulance, we also need to check the ambulance itself. We check the oil uh, and the transmission fluid, uh, and then we also have to check the sirens. Uh, and then we also check the lights. It started raining, that's just great. The outside compartments of the truck have different devices that are used to either stabilize the patient, such as like backboards or scoop litters if they had a back injury. Um, the stair chair is used when patients are up a flight of stairs and you need to get them down uh, and you can't use the litter for that. And then we have the large oxygen tank for the truck. In here we have an oxygen tank, which is for the truck, and a pediatric litter. In here we have a fracture kit, and a Reeves litter. Back here we have some fire gear in case we're needed at a fire. And over here we have two backboards, a scoop litter, a traction splint, and a stair chair. Alright, uh, so now that we're done with the rig check, um, I normally like to relax if we don't have a call. Uh, but sometimes there's chores we have to do. Um, so today, one of the chores that we have to do is we have to wash the inside and outside of the truck.
So now that I'm done with all my morning chores, uh, I can just kick back and relax. Maybe watch some TV, maybe take a nap. A few moments later. All right, so we just got a call. Um, we have to go. Um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. So apparently it was National Donut Day, um, so we stopped by Duck Donuts and got a free donut. We got you too! So we just got back from a call. Uh, it was a class one unconscious person. We were dispatched and a medic unit was also dispatched. Uh, we were the first unit on scene though, so when we got there we did our initial assessment. And when the medic got there we gave a report and then the medic got in our truck with us. Um, I assisted the medic with anything that he needed. Uh, and took the patient to the hospital. Um, but now that we're done with the call, we have to do one of my most favorite things about e being a EMT, and that is charting. charts uh, we can really do whatever we want um, and I'm really hungry right now so I'm gonna get some food all right just got done with my charts um, it is about 6 30 uh, so about half an hour to go and then I'm done for the day Okay, so I just got home from my shift a few minutes ago. I uh, had to stay a little late to finish up some charts. So today I had four calls, which I would say is pretty average. Uh, some days you have anywhere from zero calls, so you literally don't have to do anything all day. Um, but also some days you can have eight calls where you never get a chance to eat or sit down or rest your feet. Um, but I really hope this video gives you guys a good insight of what it's like to be an EMT. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. Drop a like if you liked the video, and thanks so much for watching.